G-Force, Guardians of Space 1986, is the second American animated television adaptation of the Japanese anime series Science Ninja Team Gatchaman 1972, following Sandy Frank Entertainment's initial 1978 effort Battle of the Planets and preceding ADV Films' 2005 attempt, known merely as Gatchaman. With G-Force, Sandy Frank Entertainment collaborated with Turner Broadcasting to create a newer, more faithful translation of Science Ninja Team Gatchaman for a new audience, and such a translation was made possible with the relaxed television standards of the 1980s, a luxury that the more Star Wars-themed Battle of the Planets did not enjoy. Topic. Summary. An excerpt from the best of G-Force DVD. Five teenage champions. The evil aliens Galactor and Computer, along with their armies of androids and giant monster machines, want to take over the Earth. Galactor will stop at nothing to complete his goal, but fortunately Earth has G-Force, a team of five youngsters willing to lay down their lives to protect the planet. Join Ace Goodhart, Dirk Daring, Agatha June, Aggie, Pee Wee, and Hoot Owl, Hooty, as they fight to keep the Earth safe. Topic overview During the early to mid-1980s, Sandy Frank Entertainment's Battle of the Planets, or BOTP, was gradually being phased off the air after a successful number of years in syndication. Television stations began relegating the show to early morning time slots as typically done with programming on its way off the air before dispensing of it altogether. During this period Ted Turner's cable network TBS then known as Superstation WTBS also aired the show on their channel albeit in a slightly more edited form, with cuts for time constraints, and by 1984, WTBS was more or less the exclusive home of BOTP before they too dispensed of it around 1985, effectively ending the lengthy run of Battle of the Planets on U.S. television. With Battle of the Planets having run its course, Sandy Frank, still holding the domestic rights to the first Gatchaman series, continued to market BOTP wherever they could while seeking ways to continue making use of their license. Interest came from the part of Turner Broadcasting who was the last to air BOTP on a wide scale on their TBS network in creating a newer, more faithful adaptation of Gatchaman, which would be easier to accomplish with the newly relaxed television standards of the Reagan-era 1980s. Themes such as violence, death and destruction in cartoons were heavily edited during the 1970s. Turner executives believed that the series still had potential, and in turn acquired the rights from Sandy Frank to begin work on what would come to be known as G-Force, the same title given to the collective group of protagonists in Battle of the Planets, which in turn would be used for the same purpose on the new version. To develop this project, Turner enlisted the help of Fred Ladd, a pioneer in the field of translating and distributing Japanese animation in the U.S. with famous works such as Astro Boy, Gigantor and Kimba the White Lion, under his belt to produce the adaptation. Ladd had previously been offered to produce Battle of the Planets by Sandy Frank himself a few years before, but passed on the offer due to location conflicts. Ladd was working out of New York City at the time, while BOTP was being produced in California. Ladd, through his production company, Sparklin Entertainment, put together two test pilot episodes chosen by Turner, see episode order, and sent them in for approval. Within days, Ladd and his company were given the green light to produce the adaptation, and work on G-Force began in the fall of 1986. Despite it being handled by Turner and Fred Ladd, Sandy Frank ultimately held the copyrights to the show, along with international distribution rights, while Turner, through its subsidiary Turner Program Services, and King Features Entertainment, a subsidiary of Hearst Corporation, now Hearst Entertainment, held limited distribution and syndication rights. Topic. Changes and additions in the adaptation Topic. Content editing 
For Turner's G-Force, none of Battle of the Planet's original elements such as 7 Zark 7, 1 Rover 1, the concept of space travel and space battles and all of the added American footage were retained, preferably replaced with a more accurate translation of the original Gatchaman series with far fewer alterations. Most of the plot, backstories, violence and deaths remained intact, only edited or softened. With added dialogue where it was too explicit i.e., certain on-screen gun usage, deaths via firearms and or overly violent means and inter-team violence. <laughs> <laughs> Music An all-new music score by composer Dean Andre was in the works for G-Force, but those plans fell through due to the time constraints the project faced, which resulted in the adaptation retaining most of the original, 1970s Gatchaman score. The silent parts of the Gatchaman soundtrack were filled in with additional music. This was a relatively common practice, purportedly to maintain the pace of the show and prevent the audience from losing interest during a lull in action. Battle of the Planets had used this practice, composing new scores as well as reusing the existing Gatchaman music, during silent moments such as Mecha Transformations which originally had a high-pitched warping sound effect synchronized with the light beams and the completely musicless scenes where Katza talked with Sose XG Force, Guardians of Space opted to use a sole, repetitive synth instrumental that would play on and off as the Gatchaman score faded in and out. This synth instrumental is actually a stripped-down rendition of the show's opening, ending theme and is played throughout every episode of the series. Topic episode order Unlike Battle of the Planets, which bounced around the Gatchaman episode order and adapted them as the producers saw fit, G-Force followed the original Gatchaman episode order for its entire run, only skipping Gatchaman episodes 81 due to intense content, also skipped in BOTP and 86 for unknown reasons for a total of 85 dubbed episodes the same number of episodes adapted for Battle of the Planets coincidentally. However, only the first 87 85 of Gatchaman's 105 episodes were adapted for G-Force which resulted in the adaptation ending at a cliffhanger, with no definitive ending. The reasons behind this decision are not exactly known. Some sources claim that only 85 episodes were contracted and bought for this adaptation while others claim that budget constraints or lack of interest in adapting the remaining episodes cut it short. Also to be taken into consideration is the fact that the Gatchaman series became increasingly darker and violent towards its end, which would have made adapting those last episodes difficult, given that G-Force was being marketed towards children. It was not until ADV Films' uncut and unedited release of the first Gatchaman series in 2005-2006 that all 105 episodes were adapted and available in English. Episodes 18 the Whale Submarine, and 87 Galactor's Deadly Trap of G-Force served as the two pilots for the show. They were put together by producer Fred Ladd before he had been given approval to work on the rest of the series, with the purpose being to demonstrate to Turner Broadcasting what his work on the show would look and sound like. The two pilots are unique amongst the rest of the episodes for having replaced all of the original Gatchaman music with new music composed by Dean Andre, which was part of the proposed, all-new music score for the show. Due to time constraints, the new pieces of music weren't utilized beyond the pilots and left on the cutting room floor, with the rest of the episodes retaining most of the original Gatchaman score. Incidentally, most of the new music that was exclusively played in the pilots also turned out to be variations of the show's opening, ending theme. There exist earlier, unaired versions of the pilot episodes which contain a radically different music score than even the broadcast versions of the pilots. They also contain an unused opening, closing theme, which along with the aforementioned score was also left on the cutting room floor in favor of the final music selection present in the broadcast episodes. These pre-production pilot episodes are only available as extras on the Region 4 PAL, Battle of the Planets, Collection 2 DVD set. Between the efforts of both Battle of the Planets and G-Force, 99 of Gatchaman's 105 episodes were adapted. 
Incidentally, the last six untranslated episodes were very crucial to the series' overall storyline, and also contained its true ending. They also featured some of the series' most violent, yet memorable moments. As previously mentioned, ADV Films' uncut Gatchaman release finally adapted all 105 episodes into English, more than 30 years after the show first aired and almost 30 years since its first English adaptation. Topic. Character names and terms On the creative side, the original Gatchaman character names and terms were once again retooled and Americanized in G-Force for the convenience of the English-speaking market, as they first were with Battle of the Planets years earlier. Despite the existence of Batipi's set of English names and terms, G-Force's producers came up with their own set in an attempt to stray away from the previous adaptation as much as possible and avoid any potential confusion between the two. From Battle of the Planets to G-Force, the heroes' names were changed to Ace Goodhart Mark, Dirk Daring Jason, Agatha June Princess, Pee-wee Keop, Hoot Owl Tiny, and Dr. Brighthead Chief Anderson, while the main villains were renamed Galactor Zoltar and Computer the Great Spirit respectively. The only terms retained from BOTP were the name of the group as a collective, G-Force, in order to explain the G on their costumes and vehicles and the team's ship, Phoenix. Topic Other changes in G-Force, the Pee-wee character remained mostly identical to his original Gatchaman counterpart Jinpei, as opposed to Battle of the Planets which drastically altered the Jinpei character from a typical 10-year-old to Kiop, an engineered life form with a speech impediment. In Gatchaman and Battle of the Planets, the two primary antagonists known as Berg Katza, Zoltar and Sose X, the Great Spirit respectively, shared a strictly subordinate, master relationship, which was changed to more of a master-consultant relationship in G-Force, with Galactor Berg Katza becoming the master and computer Sose X now relegated to his consultant. The reasons for this change is due to religious-based criticism disapproving of the Great Spirit role that Sose X had in Battle of the Planets. Scenes with Sose X were reduced, including ones with Galactor Katza, bowing to Sose X unlike its Gatchaman and Battle of the Planets brethren. G-Force did not have title cards at the beginning of its episodes which made following the show and its individual episodes quite difficult. Foreign language dubs of G-Force attempted to correct this oversight by having the narrator announce the episode title at the start of each episode. Also, episodes which were listed and titled as two-parters in Gatchaman and Battle of the Planets were not titled as such in G-Force, but the plots in those episodes remained more or less intact. The show's episode titles were later revealed and available to the masses via fan clubs and the internet. Topic. Credits Owned and distributed by, Sandy Frank Entertainment formerly marketed by Turner Program Services and King Features Entertainment, whose rights reverted to Sandy Frank in 2003 Producer, Fred Ladd Voice Director, Fred Ladd Additional Music Composer, Music Editor, Dean Andre Post Production, Bruce Austin Productions Videotape Editor, Kurt Teagues Production, Sparklin Entertainment Topic Voice Cast Ace Goodhart, Sam Fontana Dirk Daring, Red Impulse, Cam Clark All Episodes Except 39 and 40 Agatha June, Pee Wee, Barbara Goodson Hoot Owl, Dr. Brighthead, Computer, Jan Rabson Some Episodes, Greg Berger Others, Galactor, Bill Capizzi Opening Credits Announcer, Norm Prescott Note, the show's voice actors were originally uncredited in its credits list. Topic. Team variations across different versions The renaming of the various characters and terms in G-Force are highlighted as follows in correspondence to their Gatchaman equivalents, among others. Although he was obviously the Swallow, Jimmy called himself the Falcon. Topic. 
Other character variations across different versions Topic: Identity change variations across different versions. The original Japanese language version of Gatchaman contains a small amount of words in English. Topic: Episode list. One: The robot Stegosaur. Number one. Gatchaman vs. Turtle King 2. The Blast at the Bottom of the Sea Number 2. The Evil Ghostly Aircraft Carrier 3. The Strange White Shadow Number 3. The Giant Mummy That Calls Storms 4. The Giant Centipoid Number 4. Revenge of the Iron Beast Mechadegon 5. The Phantom Fleet Number 5. Ghost Fleet from Hell 6. The Micro Robots Number 6. The Great Mini Robot Operation 7. The Bad Blue Baron Number 7. Galactor's Great Airshow 8. The Secret of the Reef Number 8. The Secret of the Crescent Coral Reef 9. The Sting of the Scorpion Number 9. The Devil from the Moon 10. The Antoid Army Number 10 The Great Underground Monster War 11. The Mighty Blue Hawk Number 11 The Mysterious Red Impulse 12. The Locustoid Number 12 The Giant Eating Monster Abukaron 13. The Deadly Red Sand Number 13 Mystery of the Red Sand 14. The Rainbow Ray Number 14 Fearful Ice Candor 15. The Giant Jellyfish Lens Number 15. The Frightening Jellyfish Lens 16. The Regenerating Robot Number 16. Mechanica, The Indestructible Machine 17. The Beetle Booster Number 17. Great Insect Operation 18. The Whale Submarine Pilot Episode Number 1 Number 18. Revenge the Whale Operation 19. The Racing Inferno Number 19. Hell's Speed Race 20. The Mightiest Mole Number 20. A Critical Moment for the Science Ninja Team 21. Race of the Cyborgs Number 21. Who is Leader X 22. The Fiery Dragon Number 22. Firebird vs. Fire Eating Dragon 23. The Mammoth Iron Ball Number 23 Giant Raging Mecha Ball 24. The Neon Giant Number 24 A Neon Giant Laughs in the Dark 25. The Rock Robot Number 25 Magma Giant, The Emperor of Hell 26. The Secret Sting Ray Number 26 The God Phoenix Reborn 27. The Anarobot Number 27 Galactor's Witch Racer 28. Invisible Enemy Number 28 The Invisible Demon 29. The Project Called Rock EX Number 29 Gallic X, The Devil Man 30. The Attack of the Mantis Number 30 Camisoral, the Guillotine Iron Beast 31. The Sinister Star 1 Number 31 Plan to Assassinate Drive Nambu 32. The Giant Squid Number 32 The Gazora Operation, Part 1 33. In the Tentacles Grip Number 33 The Gazora Operation, Part 2 34. Operation Aurora Number 34. Evil Aurora Operation 35. The Sun Bird Number 35. Fires of the Blazing Desert 36. The Deadly Sea Number 36. Little Gatchaman 37. 
the particle beam number 37 rengira the electron iron beast 38 the dinosaur man number 38 the mysterious mechanical jungle 39 the monster plants number 39 jago killer the people eating plant part 1 40 those fatal flowers Number 40 Jago Killer, The People Eating Plant, Part 2. 41 Killer Music. Number 41 Murder Music. 42 Swan Song Prison. Number 42 The Great Escape Trick. 43 Human Robots. Number 43 A Romance Destroyed by Evil. 44 The Shock Waves. Number 44 A Challenge from Galactor 45. The Case of the Kalanite Number 45 The Sea Lion Ninja Team in the Night Fog 46. The Deadly Valley Number 46 Gatchaman in the Valley of Death 47. The Super Z-20 Number 47 The Devil's Airline 48. The Camera Weapon Number 48 Shutter Killer, The Camera Iron Beast 49. The Mechanical Fang Number 49 The Terrifying Mechadokuga 50. The Skeleton Curse Number 50 Trachodon, The Dinosaur Skeleton 51. Wheel of Destruction Number 51 Caterroller, The Rolling Monster 52. The Secret Red Impulse Number 52 Red Impulse's Secret 53. The Van Allen Vector Number 53 Farewell, Red Impulse 54. The Vengeance Number 54 Gatchaman Burns with Rage 55. The Micro Submarine Number 55 The Desperate Mini Submarine 56. The Bird Missile Number 56 Bitter Bird Missile 57 Battle of the North Pole Number 57 The Evil White Sea 58 The Super Laser Number 58 Hell's Mecha Buddha 59 Mystery of the Haunted Island Number 59 Secret of the Monster Mecha Factory 60 G Force Agent 6 Number 60 Science Ninja Team G6 61 Dream of Danger Number 61 The Ghost of Red Impulse 62 The Snow Devil Number 62 Blizzarder, The Snow Devil 63 The Strange Strikeout Number 63 Massacre of the Mecha Curve Ball 64 A Deadly Gift Number 64 A Deadly Christmas Present 65. The Iron Beast Number 65 Super Bem, The Synthetic Iron Beast 66. When Fashion Was Fatal Number 66 The Devil's Fashion Show 67. The Proto Monster Number 67 Mortal Blow. The Gatchaman Fire 68 Radioactive Island Number 68 Particle Iron Beast, Micro Saturn 69 The Devil's Graveyard Number 69 Cemetery Under the Moonlight 70 Mummy Mania Number 70 Uniting Goddesses of Death 71 The Abominable Snowman Cometh Number 71 The Immortal Leader X 72 Plague of Robots Number 72 The Swarm Attack of the Mini Monster Mechs 73 The Mammothodon Number 73 Get Katza 74 Secret of the Power Number 74 The Secret of the Bird Styles 75 The Crab Robot Number 75 Jumbo Shakora, The Sea Devil 76. The Reverser Ray. Number 76. The Bracelet is Exposed. 77. Shock Waves. 
Number 77 Berg Katz's success. 78 Battle on the Ocean Bottom. Number 78 Deadly Danger. 10,000 meters beneath the sea. 79 Stolen Identity. Number 79 Gatchaman Secrets S. Tolan. 80 The Mind Control Machine. Number 80 Return. Boomerang. 81 Force of the Mega Robots. Number 82 Aim for Crescent Coral Reef. 82 The Flame Zone. Number 83 A Desperate Ring of Fire. 83 Web of Danger. Number 84 Smog Fiber, Spiderweb Iron Beast. 84 The Secret of G4. Number 85 He's G4. 85 Galactor's Deadly Trap, Pilot Episode Number 2. Number 87 Patugiller, The Triple United Iron Beast. Topic. Debut and reception Topic. TBS Run 1986. The revamped G-Force premiered as a test run on Turner's own TBS network in the summer of 1986 and ran for just a week before mysteriously disappearing afterwards. The reasons for this are still unclear and or unknown, but it wasn't on long enough for viewer receptions or higher-ups to even gauge its viability as some have indicated. Supposedly, it was replaced by reruns of Gilligan's Island the following week. Some sources say that G-Force was created solely for overseas syndication and not U.S. consumption, and that the purpose behind the TBS test run was to clear a contractual agreement and also list the show as having aired in the U.S. to help it sell around the world. Regardless of whether this was true or not, the show was syndicated internationally in the following years, finding a decent following abroad while the U.S. was left without any incarnation of Gatchaman for years. <laughs> Topic. Cartoon Network Run 1995 to 1997, 2000. Almost a decade later, Cartoon Network, another of Ted Turner's networks and still in its infancy was in dire need of newer and fresh programming, which conveniently provided an opportunity for G-Force to make its proper U.S. debut, as Turner still had a stake in the show at the time. G-Force premiered on Cartoon Network on January 2, 1995 as a mainstay of the network's action programming, and was finally aired in its entirety via weekday and weekend rotation. G-Force was the first ever anime to air on Cartoon Network, followed by Robot Carnival, Vampire Hunter D, Twilight of the Cockroaches, all three on January 29, 1995 in Night of the Vampire Robots, and Speed Racer, February 1996, all airing before the debut of Toonami, March 1997, which popularized anime on the network. The show did modestly rating-wise and developed a small following, but neither were on the scale that Battle of the Planets had and enjoyed in its day. More notable was the mass confusion that occurred amongst older viewers upon the premiere of G-Force. Many who recalled and were fans of its predecessor Battle of the Planets were confused and thrown off upon watching G-Force due to both being culled from the same material, Gatchaman and prominently using the name G-Force. Assuming it was an altered version of BOTP at first and not a newer, entirely separate adaptation of Gatchaman. By 1996, Cartoon Network shunted the show to late nights and weekends only, and it lingered there for a while until they finally cancelled it in 1997, marking the last time G-Force has aired in its entirety in the U.S. to date. Since its original U.S. run, the show has made brief reappearances in 2000 on Cartoon Network's late night Toonami Midnight Run block and again in 2004 on ADV's The Anime Network, never airing more than a handful of episodes. During its short stint on the weekend Toonami Midnight Run, 
Block in early 2000, G-Force was featured in a number of on-air promotions for Cartoon Network's Toonami, which continued to air even after the show had left the air. Topic. Reception G-Force was, and still is, criticized by fans of the previous adaptation, Battle of the Planets, and to a lesser extent Gatchaman, both of which criticize its voice acting and descriptive character names, preferring their Gatchaman, BOTP equivalents. Also, as previously mentioned, the similarity between BOTP and G-Force has often led to fans of the former confusing it with the latter, when they are, in fact, two different English adaptations of the same show. The most common complaint amongst fans and new viewers alike was the distracting synth instrumental that was often played in every episode. These flaws proved to be enough for some to overlook G-Force's good qualities and avoid the show altogether, and all this among other factors such as Cartoon Network not having had a strong national presence during the show's original U.S. run resulted in G-Force failing to be as successful as Battle of the Planets was. Topic DVD releases and availability due to its relative obscurity, and paired with the fact that ADV's recent uncut and unedited Gatchaman release has replaced it as the most accurate English adaptation, G-Force is unlikely to receive a full series or box set release as its Battle of the Planet's Brethren has received, in the UK at least. Sandy Frank Entertainment, which originally licensed both Battle of the Planets and G-Force, Guardians of Space, lost their distribution and marketing rights to the original Gatchaman series and its adaptations sometime in 2007. They have since been reacquired by Sentai Filmworks, which has re-released the ADV Films English dub of Gatchaman on Blu-ray and DVD as well as Battle of the Planets on streaming platforms. While they hold the licensing rights to G-Force, they currently have no plans to re-release the show. To date only a handful of G-Force episodes have been released on home video, totaling to just 13 of its 85 episodes when adding up all of the ones in the following DVD releases. The Best of G-Force Region 1 NTSC DVD released on September 28, 2004, a compilation DVD by Rhino Entertainment Company under its Rhinomation Classic Animation Entertainment brand featuring seven random G-Force episodes, all presented uncut, but mostly out of episode order. G-Force, Guardians of Space Region Zero PAL DVD released on May 13, 2003, eponymously titled DVD featuring the first three G-Force episodes. Battle of the Planets Volumes 1-6 Region 1 NTSC DVDs released between 2001 and 2002, the first six volumes of Rhino's Battle of the Planets release contain one episode of G-Force per volume as Extras Episodes 1-6, in the same order as the respective volumes. After Volume 6 this practice was stopped. Topic further reading G-Force, Animated, Tomorrow's Publishing, ISBN 978-1-893905-18-4, Astro Boy and Anime Come to the Americas, An Insider's View of the Birth of a Pop Culture Phenomenon, McFarland and Company, Incorporated Publishers, ISBN 0-7864-3866-5.